Going on for Richard Johnson as the field in the supreme turn for home. Classical dream out in front by two lengths and he's got them all now riding in behind. Felix Deji is in second. Aramon is in third. Thomas Darby is in fourth. And Itchy Feet is staying on on the outside. The final flight in the supreme and it's classical dream who's out and clear by five lengths. Thomas Darby giving chase in second. Itchy Feet is back in third. But as they race up towards the line, he will be an Irish winner in the Supreme. Another win in the race for Willie Mullins and for Ruby Walsh. The pair, they have two fences to jump in the home straight and Duke de Genevra leading but Clondor Castle is almost with him now. There's about five lengths behind those. Articulum's moved into third. He's sent Duke de Genevra for the winning line now opens up by four lengths. Spring Hill though for the second last. Taking it second was Clondor Castle. Articulum in third. Knocked Anous is next. Duke de Genevra. Final fence. Jumped it brilliantly. Landed ten lengths ahead. Races his as he comes up the line now. Second position, Clondor Castle. Last on them, Articulum behind those. It's a great race for the places, but it was an easy victory. Duke de Genevra for Willie Mullins and Paul Tynan has won the race in post Arkle. Us and them will be home in second. First four. Activity will make the turn racing in fifth. Lakeview Lad is in sixth. Towards the inside is Flying Angel in seventh and in eighth is Magic of Light and he's then four lengths clear of Give Me a Copper and the rest. They're over the second from home. Vintage Clouds in the centre just had a slender lead to 007 over on the far side. His stable mate Beware the Bear towards the near side. The final fence and Beware the Bear with a spring heeled leap jumps the lead in the hands of Jerry McGrath. They've now on the flat and racing inside the final furlong. It is Beware the Bear for Nicky Anderson and Jerry McGrath who is out in front. Vintage Clouds is trying to come back. So to his late view lad, 50 yards to go. Beware the Bear is out in front and Beware the Bear has won the ultimate. He Beats in the second vintage clouds and in third place was late view lad. Fourth place and they run round the home turn. Espire Dallin and Mark Walsh have sauntered into the lead in the Unibet champion hurdle. Now he says go and he's on by three lengths. Second position for Mellon and then with Mellon is Lorena still staying on his silver streak but Espire Dallin heads down towards the last flight now with a five or six length advantage. Espire Dallin got over it safely and is clear. Mellon Silver Street, Lorena are doing battle for second, third and fourth positions but as they race up towards the line it is Espar Dallin and the colours of J.P. McManus for Mark Walsh who are the Unibet champion hurdle winners. Mellon is runner up again, Silver Street is into third, then the Lorena Island Dallin. clinging now to a tenuous lead she's now been overtaken by the reigning champion in the race, Benny De Dieu and she has simply breezed into the lead in the hands of Ruby Walsh Around the outside, Roxana gives chase into second. In third is Good Time Tara. Then in fourth, Stormy Island. They come down towards the tenth and final flight. Benny Dedier is out in front and still very much in hand. She rises, but she's down at the final flight when she held a two and a half length lead. Roxana has been left in front. Stormy Island is now beginning to rally. Roxana flashes her tail. She wanders under pressure, but she will hold on. And Roxana will take the mayor's hurdle for Dan and Harry Skelton. Tarder, Rachel Blackmore has come now to take it up. Comes round the outside of the Russian door. And ben Dundee and the Stripes is running on. Tower Bridge over the far side closing. Up the second last. Good leap from Aplutar. Up and over it safely. Moves on by three lengths. Tower Bridge, Ben Dundee. Hunts but some behind this, but Aplutar is sprinting clear, good leap at the last, landed about 10 lengths clear, heads up the line now, a tower bridge in second, the Russian Doyne and Ben Dundee behind these, they play for places, Aplutar was right on time with Rachel Blackmore and wins in great style, home in second, tower bridge, Ben Dundee in third, they're followed in by the Russian Doyne. And these five have pulled clear by some eight lengths from Mulcahy's Hill, OK Corral is being eased, and then Clondor Kean, and they are the only ones left going. They make the turn. Two more to take. And it is Lebroy on the inside and Jamie Codd to the outside. Discarama and Barry O'Neill. Atlanta Ablaze will take it in third and fell. Back in fourth. Jerry's back. Then hampered just your tight. They're racing down towards the final fence. Lebroy on the far side. Discarama towards the near side. They take it. Lock together as one. Two gladiators fighting it out at the Cheltenham Hill. Lebroy on the far side, Discarama on the near side, they've got a hundred yards to go, Lebroy now ahead in front, Discarama
cover with one last lunge. Not enough this time. The Nashan chase goes to Lebroy and Jamie Codd, his second win in the race. Discarama will be in 